Welcome to Digital Asset News to get top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Tonight, we have one of the best stories that I have covered in over a year, and that is crypto exchange Bitflyer Europe links up with PayPal, enabling accounts deposit with euros. What this is going to mean today, a week from now, months and years is amazingly fantastic. I'm going to go over why this is so big and why this is going to lead to a massive, unbelievable bull run. Also, what the heck is going on with Crypto.com? CEO Chris Marzalak lays it all out in a Twitter feed, and it's pretty interesting. So we'll go over that. But first, let's go over what happened today in the market. And um, really, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter what is going on right now, because this first story is going to dwarf everything that's going on currently and it's going to really push everything to the forefront but just for s's and giggles let's just go over it so today it is september 20th it is about 7 30 p.m bitcoin is almost 11,000. great Ethereum is 375 great tethers tether xrp is xrp bitcoin or polka dot doesn't really matter so and nothing really fantastic there was one thing that i thought was interesting was that uh uniswap didn't fall too far i thought it was gonna kind of bottom out uh but it's at 538 actually i thought it was actually going to go up but uh i see some turbulence going on but that's just how it is with uh uniswap but i believe in that project it looks fantastic and i really appreciate what they did with the community giving out 60% of the coins right to the community right away, not going to founders, not going to whales, not going to a bunch of investors and fat cats who can get rich fast to the community. Tip of the hat to Uniswap. All right, let's break in. I can barely contain myself because when I saw this, first of all, thanks so much to Crypto Wolf at Twitter, XRP Crypto Wolf, and he sends me a lot of information. And this one was, I mean, when I saw this, I almost dropped my phone. And it talks about crypto exchange Bitflyer lining up with PayPal. So what the heck is going on? And this just dropped. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. Eastern time. So that's two hours ahead. So it's about 9.30. So it's been two hours late or two hours later. Anyhow, crypto exchange Bitflyer Europe has integrated with PayPal. We had covered this over a month ago or so. And there was rumblings of PayPal wanting to integrate with any type of uh, exchange because they wanted to offer cryptocurrency. I mean, this is a smart group of people. Uh, the PayPal Mafia, who, I mean, they're all gone now, but uh, there's still some smart people in PayPal and they realize what's going to happen in the future. They go, you know, we need to get ahead of this. We need to be on the forefront. And they made the strides. And what they did was they said, you know what, if we can't do this in America right now, let's just go to Europe. And here we are. This move means Bitflyer users can now deposit euros using their PayPal accounts to buy cryptocurrency. So you have to understand, <clears throat> PayPal is huge. It's huge everywhere. I don't know exactly where you are at, but uh, in Europe, it's about a third of the market share. In America, it is a even larger force. Uh, it is everywhere. It makes things super simple. Venmo and Zelle and everything else where you use your just your, your cell phone to transfer money. Very slick, very easy. And it's the way that uh, banking should have gone. Unfortunately, bank bankers are not innovators and they're still stuck on the old system. So when I saw this, this is great for integration because people like ease of use. And if they can start to use PayPal to buy cryptocurrencies, um, just take the victory lap now because uh, that's it. It's game over. Anyhow, PayPal is a dominant uh, payment method in Europe, like I talked about, 35% market share. As for how the integration would work in practical terms, Bitflurry Europe users will be redirected to PayPal's website when selecting the payment method to deposit funds. And it's the same thing with PayPal everywhere. When you go to some kind of e-commerce website, it's the same thing. How do you want to pay? You want to pay with your bank? You want to pay with your credit card? Or just PayPal? Click on PayPal. Goes there, you log in, it takes the funds. It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, no problems. States here the fund transfers would be close to instant, said Bastin, who is the business strategy manager at Bitflyer. Traditional payment methods can take up to three business days for deposits to clear. Trust me, I've worked with banks uh, for quite a long time, and uh, three days is pretty good for them sometimes. I mean, in certain parts of the world, yes, I understand that uh, you guys have instant uh, payments. But in America, we are in a very slow system, and uh, my fellow Americans can attest to that. Sometimes banks just suck. Not the people that work at the banks. The people that work at the banks, are just they just have a job, and I appreciate you guys for being there. Just the bankers who make those types of decisions and don't want to integrate and don't want to innovate, get out of the way. Get out of the way and let this just happen like it's supposed to do and just fall the wayside just like all the blockbusters did. Currently, no crypto exchanges allows deposit funds via PayPal accounts. Coinbase, which is a long-standing relationship with PayPal, only allows withdrawals to users' PayPal accounts. 
Actually, I didn't know that uh, wasn't even an option, but that's interesting. Peer-to-peer -peer exchanges such as local Bitcoins and Paxful allow buying crypto via PayPal, but this is not a direct integration. On these platforms, buyers and sellers transfer funds from and to their PayPal accounts for trades. This is a C2C or customer to customer, a peer to peer relationship. Ours is a B2C, business to customer. This is interesting because um, just this morning, I was on Alex's uh, Maschioli show, and it was uh, me, Alex Ryan, you know, Roger Veer, Danish, who was like Roger Veer's uh, right hand man for Bitcoin.com and the exchange, Dan Najarian, who's a CNBC commentator. I think that's it. Oh, and then, of course, uh, Ray, who is the CEO of Paxful, came on and he started to talk about uh, DeFi and just what it, what it all is and how it's going to change everything. And it was, it was a fascinating really little quick snippet about, you know, what is possible, which I always like to hear about what is possible. And I've seen his website before, um, and it was actually recommended to me. I just kind of glanced over it, didn't really think too much about it. This is Paxful.com, peer-to-peer. And I don't think, do not quote me because I haven't looked into it enough. I haven't done my due diligence, but I don't think there's any like KYC type of thing. So it's just like, it's between you and somebody else and you can use, this is what I think is interesting. Big transfer, okay. PayPal, Zelle Pay, cash deposit, Amazon gift card. And they also are doing uh, iTunes gift cards and Western Union, <laughs> Western Union. But I, I shouldn't laugh because hey, Western Union has been around for hundreds of years. So when I saw this, I was like, huh. And then when Ray was talking, I was like, well, this guy's a pretty smart guy. He seems like he knows what the heck's going on. And then he had this really great article uh, on Twitter that I found. It was it was the gift card P2P market dilemma. And he just talks. And basically what he's talking about is like they're trying to service the unbankable in sub-Saharan Africa and different parts of the countries where people just cannot, they just cannot be banked. And one of the big things they use are these gift cards. And he says what a pain in the A it is, but he says if they don't do it, they will leave so many people uh, out of the whole fray as far as Bitcoin and they don't want to do that. So they deal with the pain in the A and all the different problems that they have just for these people. And I was like, that's amazing. And then what he talks about here in the actual article, it's a long article, I'll, I'll link it. You can read it if you want to, but he says, and this was all about all the different problems that they're having. But he says, first, please accept my humble apologies. The CEO of Paxwell, we never saw this coming at this scale. No excuses. We should have been prepared for anything. When I read that, I'm like, this is a guy who knows how to lead. So Coinbase, Ethereum Classic, watch this guy. Because when he says things like this, it's the same type of thing of all good leaders have always said throughout history. Do not blame the other people. Do not take it and, and push blame someplace else. It always falls on your shoulders. And you are the one responsible for bringing everybody up. So this guy, I think he's one to watch. Anyhow, enough of that bromance. All right, where are we going? So lastly, PayPal has reportedly been looking to offer a crypto trading service via its app. The payment giant is said to have partnered with Paxos, crypto brokerage to launch such a service. So here's my final thoughts. I mean, obviously this is enormous. It is enormous, but... When I look at this, this is what I think. I think everyone is different. And I always forget this, but it's the truth. Everyone is different. And it's the catering to these differences that will usher in crypto and digital assets. Uh, there was a report that just came out that talked about how in the state of Wyoming in the United States, they are going to be giving a bank, banking license to Kraken. Kraken will have a full financial license, meaning it's essentially a bank. And some people were like, that's ridiculous. We don't want banks because that's that goes against the whole credo of decentralization. But you understand, you have to understand, everybody's different. We don't need banks, but people in different environments, different age groups, different mindsets, they need those banks first to make that jump into cryptocurrencies. And this is the same type of thing. People are like, well, I mean, PayPal, it's kind of like traditional. We need this type of thing to bring the masses in. It can't just be a small party of you know just a small group of people we need to expand and make that tent a lot bigger to accept a lot more people and this is one of those ways to do it when you have something as big and powerful as paypal going look we want to get into this we want to offer cryptocurrencies we want to make it super easy for them to do let's just let that happen Let's let that happen. Now, there's going to be bumps across the way, but to get to mass adoption, we need to bring these types of things in. And I, for one, think this is one of those catalysts on top of everything else that we've been seeing. I mean, the MicroStrategy CEO, Michael Saylor, you have Paul Tudor Jones, you got Fidelity Digital Assets, TD Ameritrade, uh, Grayscale, everything that, that, that's happening right now, it's amazing. It's happening right at this point. And if you are just getting into this market, I salute you because this would be the perfect time to be there. So, 
I just, uh, when I saw this article, I saw what's going on. I can, the only thing I think about is this, is that I don't care what this market is doing right now. I have no care because I know it will explode in 2021 on into the future. That's just what I think. Now, I could be wrong, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on. Lastly, this is going to be a short video. So I kept getting messages about, well, first of all, uh, I did a video today and I just had to do the second one. But in the video today, I talked about that there was a, um, on crypto.com, Ethereum is being listed for like $79,000. So hope that stays, but it's probably just a glitch. And this is what's happening. So this is Chris Marzalak, the CEO of uh, Crypto.com. And he just lays it out. This is what's going on. So he says, hey, database issues on exchange cause an outage. And another problem, it's not just the Ethereum glitch. It's that people can't get into their accounts, which is kind of scary when you think about it. You're like, please don't be a Mt. Gox. Please let all the funds be there. And of course, uh, when people send this to me, I'm like, just give it time. We don't know what's going on. Wait for all the data's in. We don't know anything. And here we have some information. So he said some users took advantage of the outage to manipulate ETH, USDT price, which we talked about. They locked in gains by selling to other coins in mass. They tried to withdraw, but were blocked by risk systems. Since the risk system kicked in almost immediately, our monetary loss from this event is negligible. And of course, they probably have insurance, so it probably hasn't affected anybody else out there i.e. you and me. Uh, actually, I don't use crypto.com, so it doesn't affect me at all. How is this going to be resolved? Some illegitimate trades will be reversed and balances restored. Interesting. It's a complex, time-consuming process, hence long downtime. My apologies to all users. The team will be on a 24-7 until we are back in line. We will learn from this outage and strengthen all systems accordingly. We will be regular posting regular updates as we get a more accurate information or timeline to resume trading. That's how you do it right there. Hey, there's a problem. We're going to fix this problem. We're going to move on. No big deal. Follow me. Great. So that is essentially what's going on now. Having said all that, uh, I'm still a little bit jaded, <laughs> just a little bit out there. So let's see if this holds up, how it all works into tomorrow. Um, usually it's not a big deal. Usually it's just exactly what it says it is. And sometimes it's not, but, um, I am cautiously optimistic and we will see what happens. But uh, if you have heard of anything else, put in the comment section and don't start to tell me some wacko uh, theory that you have that, you know, I don't know, what, whatever is it without proof. If you have some kind of proof, love to hear it. But don't tell me that aliens are coming down stealing Bitcoin or something crazy. All right. So that's it for tonight. Thanks so much for watching this really quick video. I appreciate it. And that's it. If you like these types of videos, there's going to be too much going to pop up in your left and right. Not sure. YouTube kind of controls that stuff. Oh, there is one thing. Uh, Jerry Hall had a pretty good interview with Raul Powell. This was today where Raul Powell, and I talked about this in the last video, but if you had a chance to watch this, it's pretty, I watched the whole thing. Very interesting. Very interesting about uh, how Paul all thinks that, that uh, this ETF is going to come down, how things are moving in the right direction, which, I mean, we all see that, but just where things are going. It's just a different take. So if you, if you got time, check that out. I'll put it in the description. And that's it. Thanks so much. See you in the next one.